All right, so this is all that I did, right? Obviously, we took the chain off. Um, so what we, what are we doing? We are doing um, taking the oil. We doing the oil change. I'm trying to point to the thing right here. It's right here. Oil change. We changing the sprockets, rear and front sprockets with the vortex gas cap. Um, we are gonna get an impact gun to take off the foot pegs. Um, take off the foot pegs. I got mirrors. I'll be doing a mirror video. Um, Y'all see the new new cosmetics in the front. The new windshield for the ugly windshield. I should have got the bubble gravity, but I just wanted a dark windshield, a new fresh one, because I didn't like that paint job on there. Y'all let me know if y'all like these fans on here. I, don't, I really don't, don't know if I really, really like them too much. It make them look like a BMW. Um... So what we're doing, so what I'm going to do now, so I laid out my diagram on how I took everything off because you're going to need to put this cover, this cover took so long to put, to take off. So I'll make sure to, well, I'll tell y'all right now. So look, so lay out the diagram that you took it off in. So you know what screws to put back in and you don't got to spend time playing guess who and guess where type thing. Um, Y'all make sure to inspect y'all bike, cause, cause what is this? What? Just look at this. Look, look at this. This is crazy. I might get a radiator guard. I'm, I'm still thinking about it. Um, so when you do your oil filter, right? You need to. I know I'm, I'm sorry, y'all. Um, when you do your oil filter, you need to put some foil down, right? Because that oil is going to leak, and you don't want that when you get the bike, start putting the bike back together, fairings and everything else back together. You don't want to burn up, burn that up because it's going to be smoke. So what I did was I got some foil from the crib, wrapped that around the exhaust. Um, I had to go get a 17 millimeter to take that off. I got my new exhaust right here. Uh, what I did was I went to AutoZone and I, and I told them I have a half inch wrench and I got a half inch uh, 17 millimeter. And I put that shit on. It's just that simple. And I, I made sure it got a fit, snug fit. I put the extension on, cause it might give me a little hell um, getting up under there. But we'll, we'll we'll figure it out. We'll get the job done. Um, shout out to Quad Lock, bro. This chain breaker is literally the best. I bought one from eBay, and it never looked like this. Never. So y'all make sure y'all go to cycle gear and get y'all chain breaker or you can get a saw uh not a saw i forgot what it was it's like a yes yeah, a saw and then saw it off knock off one of the things and then cut through the metal make sure it's metal you cutting through and not what you call it but once you take it off it's off so another thing that's gonna probably give me problems is taking off this front sprocket we're gonna we're gonna figure out a way to take that off because this is a seal right here they got to get taken off. And I don't know if I can use the 32 for the back on the front. I should be able to, but I don't know. I might take the diameters of it and get close to it and X, Y, and Z. So I'll give y'all a video on everything that I did after I did it because I'm here playing mechanic. So y'all make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll be right back.